Hi, I'm Caitlin Dreesey Keegan. I am a PhD candidate in the Department of Tropical Medicine, and I'm a recipient of the Ellen M. Koning ARCS Award in Medicine. So my research focuses on dengue and Zika viruses and the antibody response to them. So a little bit of background. Dengue and Zika are both viruses of the flavivirus family, and they are closely related. They exist in similar geographic regions spread throughout the tropic and subtropical regions of the world, and they are both typically spread through the bite of an infected mosquito. So Zika virus became a pathogen of international concern in 2016 when an outbreak hit the Americas with an epicenter in Brazil. For this period, for the first time ever, this virus was associated with uh, neurological defects and congenital malformations that became known as congenital Zika syndrome. So as you can see in this picture down here, uh, congenital Zika syndrome is associated with microcephaly, so smaller than average head size, along with brain calcifications and neurological and behavioral disorders in these children. Um, since then, there's been a lot of research to figure out why? Why is this happening? What's going on? And so what we do in our lab, what my research is for my PhD, is I study dengue and Zika. And so dengue virus is known to have a phenomenon called ADE, or antibody dependent enhancement. And what this means is your second infection is typically worse than your first. And so we propose that maybe a similar thing is happening with Zika virus because they're so closely infected. Perhaps those infected with dengue who then become infected with Zika are having some type of enhancement that is allowing this virus to cross the placenta and cause these birth defects. So what we do is, or what we did, I got a panel of serum samples from pregnant women taken during the Zika outbreak in Brazil in 2016 in Salvador in the Northeast part of Brazil. I then analyzed these serum samples and using our methodology was able to group these women into groups of primary Zika infection, primary dengue infection, secondary dengue infection, or Zika with previous dengue infection. From there, I focus more specifically on the antibody profiles. And so using a depletion assay, I was able to determine the percentage of type-specific and cross-reactive antibodies. So among the moms, each sample, what percent of the antibodies bind solely to dengue, solely to Zika, or that are cross-reactive. And using this methodology, we hope to correlate this to serum samples from babies, as well as uh, to clinical pictures of these infants. And our goal of this research is to assess if there is a certain antibody profile in mom that is driving the development of congenital Zika syndrome in the baby. So this is a really important uh, goal because we want to assess who's at risk for having these babies with these really severe birth defects. And hopefully that can drive guidance to protect these women and children in the future. So thank you.